If n plus k equals m, what is the value of k? Well, notice we could solve this equation by saying by subtracting n from both sides, and we'd get k equals m minus n. So one way to get sufficient information is if we found out both the value of m and separately the value of n, then we'd be able to figure out k. Or also, if we just were told the difference, m minus n, that alone would allow us to figure out k. So statement number one tells us that n equals 10. Well, it is helpful to know one variable, but we'd really have to know the, var the value of m also in order to figure out what k equals. So right now, by itself, statement number one is insufficient. As always, now we have to ignore statement number one and focus entirely on statement number two. Statement number two tells us that m plus 10 equals n. Well, I notice I could solve this for the difference. If I just subtract n from both sides, I get m minus n plus 10 equals 0. Subtract 10 from both sides, m minus n equals negative 10. And in fact, that's exactly what k would equal. So this statement by itself is sufficient to allow us to determine the value of k. Statement number one insufficient. Statement number two sufficient. Answer choice B.